Hi there, students. Syzygy. Syzygy. Um, a countable noun. Let's see, this is a word that they use in astronomy to say when three planets or three planetary bodies are in a direct line. Um, I chose this word because it's one of these words for you word collectors out there. I love the, the, the spelling. It's got no vowels in it. S-Y-Z-Y-G-Y. Wow. Three Ys in a six-letter word. Anyway, a syzygy is where um, the planets or the stars or so are in a straight line. Um, I recently read a book called the, or a series called The Three Body Problem that I really liked. And there was definitely a syzygy of three suns in a row in this, in this book. Um, okay, so th this is the idea of syzygy is when, um, uh, three planets or three, uh, things in a solar system are in an absolute straight line. Um, they also use you can use this with um, the su the sun, the earth, and the moon. When the sun, the earth, and the moon are in an exact straight line, that's also a syzygy. So I've th I was then started to think, well, we've got to be able to find a way to use this word syzygy uh, when speaking or writing. And then I had a great idea. For example. Um, in politics, it's almost impossible that there is a syzygy of the different uh, political parties in a parliament. Um, if there was a syzygy of uh, ideas or a syzygy of um, policy, they would all work together for the same thing. Um, and that would be wonderful. Um, if you have two people, it's easy to get an agreement. If you have to get an agreement between three, syzygy is much more difficult. And a syzygy between four people is almost impossible. So there we go. We've used syzygy metaphorically, saying that three different things are in line. So, yes, you can use it metaphorically, but you're going to have to be inventive. Let's see, this word syzygy, it can also be used rarely to, um, to talk about a pair of things that are connected. Normally, they are opposites connected. So I guess you could say the syzygy of yin and yang. Yeah, um, the, the pair, the pair of opposite things. But I think this is much, much rarer. OK, so a syzygy where three bodies are in a line, particularly the sun, the m earth and the moon. Huh. I read one of the definitions out there that said an arrangement in which two or more planets are in a straight line. And I was thinking, that's ridiculous, because clearly, if you've got two, you can always draw a straight line between two. So it's got to be three. Otherwise, it, it has no meaning. Sorry about that on the side. OK, so syzygy. Yeah. Um, when the moon is in syzygy with the sun and the earth, then you could have a uh, very, very high tides. Yeah. When when there's a syzygy between the earth, the moon and the sun, all the water is pulled in one way and you could have an exceptionally high tide or an exceptionally low tide. OK, so syzygy is talking about three things in a line. So let's go to formality. Wow. Um, I think I'm going to give this a 6.5, 7 in formality. This is one of these words, if you use it, you're going to have to explain it uh, to the person you're speaking to. Um, I don't think I would use it in an informal conversation. Just an alignment. Yeah, in line. Uh, use it in well, a semi-formal conversation, maybe. Semi-formal writing, definitely try it. And in a formal writing, definitely try it. Um, oh, I love this. I, I love the spelling and sound of this word as well. Syzygy. Um, so as to origin, it comes from uh, late Latin, sy syzygia. 
a conjunction which actually comes itself from ancient Greek, suzugia, meaning a union, a yoke, a pair. And that's why a syzygy of yin and yang. Okay, so syzygy, um, three in a row or a pair of things. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Syzygy.